Let's see what happens. Hey, husks, you want to get- You want literally blown up. What the heck? These guys decimate them. Jeez. Okay. Hello guys, this is Spiderock, and welcome back to another Minecraft add-on showcase video. Today we're going to be checking out the Robotic Revolution 2.0 add-on by SpringyMC. This is an add-on that adds in a bunch of new robots and drones and things that can help you and things that you can fight and things that you can craft all in your Minecraft survival game. There will be a link in the description to download this if you're interested. And also, most of the people that watch my videos are not subscribed, so I'd like it if you would subscribe. Please, please, please do. Anyway, uh, I have a bunch of this stuff in this chest over over here that I want to check out and we're just gonna pretty much hop right into this because a lot of this stuff does actually seem really cool so we've got some some stuff here I want to start out with the drones probably which I forgot to like sort out let me see drone I'll start with the drone and there's the ranger drone and then there's the combat drone so the drones you're going to want some iron to craft there's also let me just uh, or to tame there's also a hold on let me actually go into survival here there's also a crafting table where you can craft uh, pretty much all of the things um, some of these things, I don't know if you ha if you fight them, I don't know exactly, I'm pretty sure most of them are there to be helpful. Anyway, if we throw down a drone, these things look awesome, look at this, it's literally a drone. And so the drones will automatically fight these guys, but you can also go ahead and if you want, tame them, and then they will also follow you around when they finish beating up the horde of zombies that you- oh, and my drone died, okay. Okay, we're gonna get like three drones, and then I wanna tame all of these guys, okay, come on. Come on, let me tame you, let me tame you, here we go, here we go. We've got like three drones this guy's just hanging out up there doing who knows what i don't know but you can kind of see they're gonna they're gonna beat they're gonna beat things up oh and the drones have hunger now this is kind of sad actually come on you guys got this maybe i need a lot more drones i don't know how expensive a drone is but you know they do seem generally pretty good maybe not against like a horde of enemies but like against just a few enemies i bet they would probably get the job done if you give them enough time to heal i don't know if you can heal them with uh with iron oh no can i heal these guys can i feed them iron to heal Maybe not, maybe so. Okay. Anyway, I don't know what this guy up here is doing. I can't even get to him. But if we head over here, you can see the ones that I've actually tamed are following me around. So we got little drone buddies that will uh, that will follow me around. And then there's also ranger drones and combat drones. So the ranger drones, I'm assuming, are ranged drones. Look at this guy. He's got a giant turret on him. Okay, we're going to give you some iron. Actually, how do you... Is there a different way you can tame the ranger drone? Okay, I don't know how you tame it not be tamed but is the most mo much like a mobile turret firing guy okay so you can't tame the uh ranger drone so let's just uh, spawn one in and see if it will come over here and just start firing at our targets oh my gosh this guy beams them literally like mowing them down with his turret okay you know what we're gonna have a few of these we're just gonna see exactly exactly how this goes oh my gosh these guys are getting destroyed i think the ranger drones might start hitting each other which you know that might not be good but here we go they're uh they're fighting the zombies and oh nope i just got shot by one of them hopefully they won't target me now but yeah these guys seem much more effective than the regular drones at um at fighting off the uh the husks but you know i don't know how many of you know this i'm assuming most of you know this but i use husks instead of zombies because they don't burn in daylight let me do another flash kill at e get rid of some of these items and things on the ground um just kind of makes my uh, makes my life easier and then finally there is the combat drone which i think are probably the coolest so i'm gonna spawn one of these guys in give it an iron and check this guy out it's so fast and it like swoops down to attack and it does so much damage it literally like one shots these guys so you give yourself like two more combat drones and you just got like literally something that can eat through an army of zombies oh well i say that and one of them immediately dies but i mean that's definitely the fastest time so far plus these guys are like really fast so they'll they'll come follow you around like very quickly so you don't really have to worry about much here i'm gonna throw on one of these uh one of these tunics honestly because i think that looks uh that would look kind of nice um i'm gonna do another slash kill though um because i want to go ahead and try some of the other things now let's see we have all these other things and i honestly don't know what the rest of these do i was just looking at the drones but i want to try some of these out so i'm pretty sure all of these um all of these are going to be like supportive i don't know that they're all tameable but i want to start with uh let's see we've got the uh what is it the under knot uh what is this the under knot is a small beetle like bot that deals heavy damage and hides underground when in movement very effective for ambushes or swarms okay well i'm gonna about I'm, I'm gonna start a swarm so can i spawn one of these guys it's gonna yo it goes underground and then it pops out of underground till i hit these guys that's cool okay you know what we've got some undernauts these guys are sick look at this they're like popping out of the ground and beating these guys up that's that's actually that's pretty awesome i really like that a lot okay come on guys 
You've got it. Okay, it seems like most of the undernauts have died. You know what? We're getting more undernauts. Undernauts, maybe maybe these are the kind of guys you just throw around your base and forget about. These these definitely seem more like base defense kind of robots than like carry around with you robots. Cause I mean, these guys are probably gonna die pretty quickly. I mean, I could see like having a drone or like especially like a combat drone if you're going caving or something and you just want to beat up everything around you. But n not necessarily the things that you can't tame cause they won't really follow you around. But you can just kind of leave them in an area and they'll beat whatever they want up. So that seems, uh, that seems pretty cool. Let me dump some of this stuff in here. Um, I, you know, I'll hold on to the rest of this iron in case I can tame something, but I'm not sure that I can. Maybe I'll spawn in the drones later. I don't know. We've got a sentry turret, which, you know, I'm guessing I know what this is. It's, I'm, I'm guessing it's a, a sentry turret. Let me see if I can beat these guys up. If I hit it, will it? Oh no. Okay. Don't hit the, don't hit the robot. Don't hit the robot. No, nope, nope, nope. Okay. I'm dead. I'm okay. Don't hit robots. Uh, word of advice. Um, don't, if you see a robot and, and you think it's going to, I think like, okay. And you think it's gonna kill you, uh, maybe don't hit it, maybe don't try and punch it in the face, but, uh, if you have a sword, maybe, maybe you can try that. Okay, sentry turret. I'm assuming you can't tame these guys, they're just gonna hang out here. Well, let's spawn one in and see how much damage it will deal. These are the kind of guys you'll set up around your base. You throw a sentry turret down, there you go, oh my gosh, okay. Now, you throw down, like, six sentry turrets, and there you go. There you have, okay, they're all kind of dying a lot. You throw down a lot of sentry turrets just like that, and now you can have a effective base defense. This I really like this add-on for the purpose of being able to, also by the way this uh, table is craftable but the recipe doesn't show up in the thing, you have to kind of look that up. Anyway, I think these would be awesome to just have around your base, especially if you have like a zombie apocalypse mod or add-on on, I mean that could honestly be really a, like a lifesaver when it comes to that kind of stuff. Let's see, Can I, oh no, I'm getting beat up, okay, no, no I should not have tried to... I should not have tried to fight these guys. Maybe I need a I need a bow and arrow if I want to try and uh, if I want to try and get these guys out of here. You know what? I'm gonna probably use commands. Actually, I can probably just uh, bow them with my bow. I arrow them. I mean, it makes more sense to say like arrow them because I'm hitting them with arrows. But at the same time, I'm using the bow to propel the arrows that are hitting them. Anyway, there we go. Those guys are gone. Next we have, let me see, we have a Reaper. I don't know what the Reaper is, but it reminds me of a, a lot of these remind me of things. I don't know if any of you know the game Iron Sight. It's like a free FPS kind of thing. Um, but there's this thing in that game called like a Metal Reaper. There's all kinds of stuff that remind, that this add-on reminds me of. Okay, this guy seems really have high damage, but definitely not good against swarms of enemies. This guy seems like he's gonna die pretty quickly. Let's see what happens if I hit one of them. Will it target me? Or will it just kind of vibe with the other one? Okay, they're just gonna kind of vibe over there. I wonder if it'll come after me and try and beat me up in a minute. Okay, we're gonna spawn in another Reaper. These guys are sick though. They have chainsaw arms. Look at my chainsaw, chainsaw arm guys. Chain, chainsaws, look at that. That's pretty sick. Okay, if I hit one of them, will it be mad at me? Uh oh. Yep, no, that one shot me. Okay, don't don't mess with the Reapers. Don't don't try and mess with them. It's just funny seeing all of them have hunger. Hey, are you gonna try and attack me? Nope. Okay, let me just use a command because these guys have a lot of health. Um, I should probably set up another command and just kill it E so I don't kill myself as well. But you know, I'm kind of lazy. That's kind of how we do things around here. Let's see, we've got a missile sentry. Yo, that sounds awesome. That sounds like it would be really handy. You know, we're gonna put three of these down. We're gonna have three missile sentries versus an army of husks, and we're gonna see, we're gonna see who can win. All right, missile sentries, it's your time. Oh my gosh, they literally sent a barrage of missiles down. What? What? How? Okay, you know what? We need, we need more missile sentries, and we need, and we need more husks. Let, let me just, uh, boop, boop. Let's see what happens. Hey, husks, you want to get, you want literally blown up. What the heck? These guys decimate them. Jeez. Okay. Okay. Missiles from the sky kind of thing. These guys seem like the best. The missile sentries. I mean, like, come on. Well, if I hit it, will it start? Oh, no, but it will try and blow me up. Yo, there's literally a, there's like an indicator on the ground. That's sick. Okay. If I hit one of them, it's going to throw an indicator down and it's going to try and blow me up based off of that indicator. That's awesome. This honestly is one of the coolest things I've seen an add-on by far. And these guys have a lot of health too. I mean, I'm hitting them quite a bit. Wait, can I make them blow themselves up? If I hit this guy and then just kind of stand over here? Okay, well, it blew me up and it didn't blow them up. So maybe maybe that's not the best idea. Okay, I want to see if I can just game on these guys and just gamer moment on them. Oh, nope, I've got five. I've got three. I've got, they're all after me. Okay, blown up by airstrike. That's actually, I like that a lot. That's something I haven't really seen before, where it's got the little target on the ground, like, not in an add-on form, at least. 
That's really awesome. Okay, then we have a healing station. So this is actually kind of like more of a passive thing. You throw this down and it will heal you if you're within a certain distance of it. It's like a little block that you place down. So if I kind of leave the area, I'm not going to be healed anymore. But if I go back up close to it, um, I don't know how close to it. I think it said like five block radius. Yeah, and then we get we get a nice healing effect. So this gives me enough regeneration that I can probably take a decent bit of damage and uh, and still be good. So let me see if I can if I can fight some husks and then uh, go back to my healing station because I don't have any armor on. Hey guys, how's it going? Oh, I'm getting beat up. Okay, time to go to my healing station. Heal back up. Okay, that's a pretty decent amount of regeneration. I think this could be really nice if you just throw a few of these around your uh, around your base. I wonder if this will heal husks too. I hope not. Oh, and now they're going to hit the healing station. Hey, it could at least be a distraction. But yeah, throw a few of these around your base. Or like if you're going to fight a boss or something, just throw a few of these around. It's kind of like campfires in Terraria. I don't know. I know like at least I don't know that much about Terraria. I like playing it. But what I William, my friend, uh, helps me with it a lot. And uh, whenever we set up a boss arena, he always throws a bunch of uh, throws a bunch of campfires down, which I'm assuming that's like an important thing to do. Which reminds me, if I fight Plantera soon, I gotta throw some of those down probably. Anyway, okay, there's a few more guys left, but I wanna I wanna see what those how, what they have to say about the dreadnought. What does the dreadnought do? Oh, geez, this guy is a tank. This guy is a beast. Okay, okay, dreadnought versus all these guys. Let me spawn in like two waves of things. Is a dreadnought? Isn't it like a the like the uh, like the big ship from like Battlefield 1 or World War 1 or whatever. I don't really know. I don't know my war things. But I do remember there was something called a Dreadnought in Battlefield 1. And I remember it being pretty cool. Okay, I'm going to help you out, Dreadnought guy. We're going to we're going to fight the husks together here. Let me throw on this throw on this helmet for the drip. Okay. Uh-oh, nope, my Dreadnought died. Okay, we're time time for a few time for a few friends. Time for a few more big guys. Oh my gosh, there's so many big big um, robot guys okay okay go away go away go away big guys are being really helpful being really nice i should probably use this shield but you know it kind of obstructs the view and then finally we have the airstrike which i think is literally the thing that we yeah so you use these to spawn in those things can i blow these guys up with airstrikes i've got like a stack of airstrikes oh my gosh i literally ha get, oh, they're gone what did i just do okay wait hold on there's a husk guy over here hey husk i'm just gonna spawn one in right there Ha, it distracts the husk. Okay, that's pretty awesome. I didn't come into this add-on. Uh, also, I don't think you can get the airstrikes from just crafting. I didn't expect this add-on to be very good because I saw that it was just spawn eggs and I was like, oh, this doesn't look that great. But honestly, I'm super impressed. This is a really fun add-on. It's really well done and fit really well into your survival so your survival world. I just want to make sure things aren't too... Oh, yeah. No, these things aren't OP at all. These things are quite expensive. Um, so that seems pretty well balanced. Anyway, before I rate this, uh, most people don't make it to here, uh, even to the rating part. So if you do make it, comment uh, spinny block thing, because that's what this is. I don't know. Anyway, I'm going to give this add-on a solid 7 out of 10. I'm pretty impressed. I think it could use a little bit more to it. Maybe some crafting recipes that you can easily see, like for the block, make an item for the block. But honestly, I had a really good time with this. And even though it's a little small... I definitely recommend this for your survival experience if you want a nice add-on for survival, maybe to help you defend things and help you just all with all kinds of things. So yes, very good. 7 out of 10. I really enjoyed it. Anyway, thanks for watching. If you made it here, see you guys later and bye.